I don't know, but somehow at the end of the day, I'm the one apologizing. Strange. <laughs> but yeah. Did you cry? Nigga, <laughs> what? If uh, yeah. what does French mean to you? Uh, when to get um, so I believe that a friendship is a relationship between two or more people where they share the similar values, interests, and enjoy each other's company. You know, they can gist, they can laugh, they can talk, they can spend time together and vibe. That's basically what the friendship is. I like I like how we say two or more people because a person can be gay. So yeah, two or more people. These um, are the issues. <laughs> um, I believe friendship is what is friendship actually? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's two people ch choosing it, each other, yeah. intentionally choosing each other. I know it sounds deep, like choosing each other, not in relationship now, but it's also a relationship. relationship. So yeah, so it's two people, no, but not in much relationships. Yeah, so it's two people intentionally choosing each other, ch choosing to. Friends. That would be friendship. To relate. To make friendship. Friendship. Yeah. Friendship. Yeah. 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 How is that not strong? How do you prevent it from being parasitic or exploitative? It's well, boundaries, also self awareness. Because if you're not self aware, you wouldn't know when someone is crossing yeah, your boundary. Yeah. You get so. I believe they first both have to be self aware and boundaries. And this also mm -hmm. Any other thing? Yeah, that's what said. all relationships are transitional. It's all about give and take. It's all about reciprocity. If one person does something for you, you are exactly. either led or you just feel, oh, this guy did this for me. Let me do this for me. It's not necessarily that you are exchanging things that, oh, I did this for you last week, do this for do me. This yeah. no, no. But it's just no. like, no, no. I have more relationships. Like, you do for me, I do for you. I talk to you, you talk to me. All out I share of ideas, love. you share yours. That's just. Transaction. What do you think I want to do? Bro code. Yeah. Which one is bro code? Do you think, do you think it's like an excuse for guys to be no. Which what is the bro code? What is the like, like which what, what of part of the bro code? Is it the one that you cannot date someone that beat it or you cannot see someone? Yeah, don't let don't let the girl come to the same It is whole that that for me is based on toxic masculinity in general. Like yeah. just guys trying to be guys. So he's my bro, he's my human being, you want me and you know. People I think you should um, put happiness of me, other people above all these codes and anything. Like, somebody should be empathy. Happy. Exactly, empathy. Put empathy above all these codes and empathy. everything. Understand where it's coming from. I mean, if a guy likes a baby little before, he says because of good code, he doesn't want to get that. So everybody, if, if you're happy. If you don't move, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't move. Everybody, you're happy because of good code. No, empathy is for you. like there's some things that I, I feel like there's some things that there's some lines that I can't. 
what, so, uh, what bro coach do you think you have? The heart of my baby, isn't that like <laughs> Like like I mean, that is not even bro code. That's like. Or you shouldn't let your babe come in between you guys. You shouldn't let the babe come. A babe come into you. Yeah, that's right. I can't. I can't say it the way they will say it because of you know. Let's be. Let's be. What's your take on friendship between opposite genders? <laughs> do you think do you think it starts off as being genuine? Genuine. Genuine can break the Right now. So what is that question? How would you define how do you define friendship? Is it like better meeting the person and just want to be friends and not have any or two or I'm 
find if you are okay. Okay, so what's your take on applying pressure? If you're like, your take on guys applying pressure to form a romantic relationship? Is it? Why? So how do you gauge it being enough and it being too much? Like, when you get you can't even have like a meaningful conversation. Like, whenever you get to Yes, yes, yes. 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 You're not, not really allowed. 
Ja, ja. 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 Ja, Yeah, but you still do just enough to keep the option around. Why? Anything that you still have to do. Okay, if that potential partner is not there, then you can't do anything. 